whenever you have a wire placed in a magnetic field the wire will always experience a force if it is perpendicular or making certain angle with a magnetic field if it is parallel like the same wire or another wire if i place parallel to magnetic field or anti parallel that wire will not experience any force to experience the maximum force the direction in which the current is passing and the magnetic field should be 90 degree or perpendicular to each other and how we can work out the force experienced by the wire the first finger we will use a left hand rule the first finger represent magnetic south or magnetic field south the second finger represent direction of the current and thumb will automatically represent the deflection or the force on wire so you can apply a left hand rule here your first finger should point towards south so your first finger should point towards south so south is towards into the second represent the direction of the particle current it's from a to b and where thumb is pointing that is the direction where it will experience a force the force appear to be upward when you apply the rule as the first finger is pointing towards south so that is into the second finger is representing direction of the current is from a to b so where the thumb is pointing the thumb is pointing up so the direction of the force will be upward for this wire so that's a current on the right hand side we have current this was a field and the force is upward then in the next part they are saying if we pass alternating current the characteristic of alternating current is it changes the direction by itself so when the current is from a to b the force on the wire will be upward but when the current is from b to a the force on the wire will be downward so the wire will experience upward and downward force so what we can say we will say when we are passing an alternating current the alternating current changes its direction which causes the change in the force experienced by the wire so that the wire will vibrate or move up and down so the direction of the current continuously changes so when ac current or alternating current ac pass or alternating current pass through the wire it changes the direction of the current which continuously change the direction of force experienced by the wire so it will vibrate or it will move up and down question 11 any doubt in question 
what is the definition of electric field you have to learn the definition of electric field it is a place or the region where the charges can experience force and what is the direction of electric field as you know like example it is a direction always in the direction force experienced by the positive charge like if you have any charge uh, say a large positive and you place a small positive so this small positive will move away so what is the direction of electric field the direction of electric field will be out and if you have a negative charge and you place a small positive charge near a small positive charge nearby so where it will move it will move towards so what we say the direction of the electric field is into so basically direction of electric field is the direction in which the positive charge experience the force the direction of electric field is given by same as the direction in which positive charge experience force figure 11.1 shows a positively charged sphere on figure 11.1 draw a pattern of electric field in a region around a positively charged sphere and show the direction of electric field with arrow so how we represent electric field for positive it is pointing out and if it was a negative it will point in the charge sphere the charge on the sphere is 2 exponent minus 5 coulomb a high resistance wire is now connected between the sphere and the earth it take 20 minutes for the sphere to become positively charged complete uh, it take 20 minutes for the sphere to become completely discharged through the wire suggest why there is a current when in the wire between the sphere and earth current is the flow of the charges or the movement of the charges that's called current and why there is a current current or the movement of the charges can occur if the charges experience attraction or if there is a voltage or potential difference like what we did we connect earthing wire so what we observe we'll observe the electron here the electron will flow into so why these electrons are flow into so the charges experience the attraction or if there is a voltage like because here there are more charges so high voltage and this one is low voltage so whenever there is a difference in the voltage the charges will move from high voltage to yes you can also mention that the positive charge on the sphere attract the electron from the earthing wire that's why there is a current or the movement of charges so if there is a difference in the voltage or difference in energy the charges will move for but for example if if there is a there is no potential difference like this was zero volts this is also zero so the charge will not move the charges flow when from higher voltage to lower voltage but if it is electron for electron it will be opposite electron move from lower voltage to high but in conventional current is from high voltage to low voltage calculate the average current so if you need a current current is charge divided by time 
that is two exponent minus five, but the time is twenty minutes. That should be in seconds. So multiply by sixty. What's the answer for the current? One point. One point six exponent minus eight, or one point seven exponent minus eight. Amperes. Any doubt in question twelve? This was. We discussed yesterday as well. In question ten, the first part, the current is moving. They mention in the first part, the current is moving from A to B. A large direct current in the direction from A to B. So that's from A to B. so your second finger point towards current your first finger should point towards south and your thumb will automatically shows the direction in which it will experience the force and in question number 1b you need uh, 1a2 sorry or 1b On a figure, sketch the shape of speed-time graph for feather falling on Earth. If a feather is falling on Earth, because Earth is having atmosphere, so air resistance equal to the weight, and it will move with a constant or terminal velocity. Then explain the difference in speed and velocity. Speed is a scalar quantity, does not have direction. Velocity is a vector quantity, so it changes with direction. 